Thomas Kingston, the husband of the King's second cousin, Lady Gabriella Windsor, died from a catastrophic head injury and was found with a gun near, nearby, um, an inquest has heard. The son-in-law of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent was found dead on Sunday at his parents' home in Gloucestershire. Thomas was a director at a private equity firm, but he previously worked with the Diplomatic Missions Unit of the Foreign Office in Baghdad and Iraq, where he was involved in securing the release of hostages. Queen Elizabeth attended his wedding to Lady Gabriella in 2019, along with Prince Philip and Prince Harry. Joining us to discuss this is Talk TV's Royal Editor Sarah Hewson. Sarah, what a sad uh, revelation this oh. is. It really is tragic news, and the details of this are just utterly heartbreaking, uh, Vanessa. Uh, Tom Kingston, 45 years old, uh, the husband of Lady Gabriella Windsor, uh, Kingston, her married name, of course, uh, had lunch on Sunday with his parents at their home in the Cotswolds. His father went out for a walk with the dogs, and when he came back, Tom wasn't in the house. His mother spent around half an hour searching for him. They couldn't find him. Eventually, his father forced entry into an outbuilding, and there they found Tom with a catastrophic head injury, and, as you say, a, a gun was found nearby. Um, an absolute shock terrible shock to all of the family who described him as being an exceptional human being who lit up the lives of all who knew him and, and just so very devastating, someone so young. And, you know, looking at those wedding pictures there uh, that day in May 2019, when they married in this beautiful ceremony at St George's Chapel, it really is just awful news. Absolutely devastating. And and uh, uh, Lady Abrilla's parents, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, were seen at the commemoration, uh, weren't they, of, of, of the, the, the death of, uh, of King Constantine of Greece, and they were talking very quietly to each other. I mean, they must have been in the deepest possible shock, I would have thought. Yes, I mean, that was just a day and a half after this had happened, and, and nobody knew at the time. The news was revealed later on that evening, but Prince and Princess Michael of Kent sitting there in the congregation in St George's Tap Chapel, as you say, talking quietly uh, to each other. They must have been terribly torn uh, between being with their daughter and also carrying out their duties, uh, attending the memorial service for King Constantine of Greece, who was very close to the British royal family and, in fact, was their daughter, uh, Ella, as she's known, get Lady Gabriella godfather so some had question at the time why she hadn't been in church and now we know that awful reason why yes i mean for deepest condolences to the family i don't really think this is the kind of story that we that we want to speculate about just because we realize there's such a deep kernel of grief at the very center of it don't we let's move on then to to more royal stories today uh, and this one is prince william in wrexham Yes, uh, the Prince of Wales visiting Wales to mark St David's Day and in Wrexham. And of course, a visit to Wrexham wouldn't be complete without a trip to the now very famous Wrexham AFC. Uh, you can see him there on the pitch uh, meeting uh, two of the players. He was handed uh, a shirt with his name on the back. And also there you can see Rob McElhenney, the Hollywood star and co-owner with Ryan Reynolds of Wrexham. A real rags to riches tale for uh, this football club. Ryan Reynolds not there. He's filming Deadpool in New York at the moment, but he is apparently hoping to meet the Prince of Wales at uh, later on this year. The Prince of Wales went to the Turf pub uh, at the football club. He had a, a whiskey and he pulled a pint. He also visited a primary school uh, during his day in Wales. And then a more sombre visit to the memorial uh, for Gresford Colliery uh, to mark the loss of more than 200 lives in dreadful mining uh, accident there. Uh, so a, a day in Wales for St David's Day should really have been for the Prince and Princess of Wales, uh, of course, but Prince William uh, flying solo while Kate continues to recover from that surgery. And now we have a story about Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, and this is about her stylist, because it's being said that she has a new stylist who rejoices in the name of Sweet Baby Jamie, what do we know about this story? Yes, there's always a lot of scrutiny, isn't there, on whatever Meghan wears, and not least uh, when she was in Canada uh, with Prince Harry to mark one year to the Invictus Games. She's apparently got a new stylist called Jamie Mizrahi, a celebrity stylist to the likes of Adele uh, and uh, Jennifer Lawrence, and also a neighbour 
in Montecito. She's described as a celebrity friend turned stylist. Now, uh, Megan's original stylist, of course, was Jessica Mulroney uh, when she was living in Canada and filming Suits. Uh, she became very close to her, so much so that Jessica Mulroney's uh, sons were part of the bridal party. They were page boys at Harry and Megan's wedding, but they have subsequently uh, fallen out. Jessica Mulroney caught up in a, uh, a race row and ditched by Megan, but it seems, according to reports, that she's found herself a new stylist with pedigree credentials. And do we know what sweet baby Jamie's style is? Does she have a kind of trademark look? Is it that very understated pared down kind of look that Meghan likes anyway? Is this a, a happy marriage of understatement? Is that what we're going to see? I think she's got a very classy look from uh, all I read uh, about her. And that is very much in line uh, with Megan, isn't it? The understated, the kind of monochrome looks that she uh, take, carries out, the block colour. It will be interesting to see how this is part of the kind of rebranding that we're anticipating for Megan. We've been talking about she's got new talent agents. Uh, now it seems she's got a new stylist. And just what this means in terms of what we're going to see uh, and hear from Megan over the coming months. Uh, we have seen her in a video this week uh, cooking with some Afghan women who have resettled in the United States. Meanwhile, we saw Harry in a video for the Well Child Awards as well. So uh, less focus on the drama and the family drama from them this week and a lot more on the kind of charitable work. And, and I think many people want to see more of that from this couple. And, and finally, the, the NYPD are saying they're going to step up protection and security around the Sussexes. Yes, now this came out as part of uh, Harry's case against the Home Office over his security. And it was revealed that following that... Uh, car chase, and I'm saying that in inverted commas because, of course, there were many questions over really whether it was a car chase in New York uh, last year involving uh, Meghan and Harry after they'd attended an awards ceremony uh, there, that they are actually going to step up their protection of the couple when they're in New York. They were much mocked for some of their claims about this near-catastrophic car chase, but what has actually turned out from the NYPD was that there were paparazzi in relentless pursuit of the couple and their vehicles, that they did have to take evasive action, that it was dangerous, and the NYPD has sufficient evidence to arrest two individuals, and that there will be greater security for Harry and Meghan next time they're in New York. Sarah, thank you very much indeed.